All right, there's the win. Uh, if you watch that game, lots of stuff uh, that wasn't great. Um, pretty crazy that our defense stepped it up as much as they did because uh, they're normally not like the most consistent factor on our team. But I actually used to, when I started doing these a couple years ago, have like a notebook where I would write down things so I could keep it in order. But then I realized, you know, over time that I would just be like, you know, I would have to keep look at the thing too much and I want to keep looking down at it. But but I've noticed also recently my videos are just all over the place. So anyway, today I start taking notes again. All I have here is Anthony Schwartz fumble. Yeah, well, it's because I don't know why Anthony Schwartz is on the field ever. I say this every week, it feels like. The dude can't catch his stone hands. He only got picked because he was fast. But has his speed done anything for us? No, it hasn't. The guy cannot even hold the ball. He's got these, he must have these little tiny little pygmy hands with like, you know, little little sticks like those popsicle sticks for arms or something because he can't hold the ball or catch the ball. I mean, I've seen people with one hand catch the ball before. This guy can't catch the ball with two hands or run with it or do anything. He's too small. Put him on the practice team. I don't care what you do. I don't want to see him in the game anymore. Stop putting him in there. Oh, he had one other play later in the game? Oh, cool, yeah. What's one lucky play he had? I'm so tired of seeing him. We got so many other people we could put out there. We don't need this idiot out there. I mean, at this point, he's worth nothing. We probably should have traded him in the first year that we got him, so maybe he'd still be worth something to somebody. But now nobody, nobody's going to think he's, he's worth anything because we've watched him play and he sucks. But to Sean Watson. Uh, okay, so we knew it was very possible that he was going to be rusty which they said throughout the game he was rusty. But, I mean, like, literally he was spiking every single ball. Now, I want to point out, Baker Mayfield, even in his best of times, never threw the ball at the ground. He was always throwing it over their head. You know, he's always sailing these balls. There's these, like, people behind the receiver who are oftentimes intercepting his passes. I mean, he has so many interceptions because he would throw it so high that the receiver would have to try to catch it and tip the ball up. And somebody else would get it. We don't have that problem, Deshaun. Balls are so damn low these are all like skip passes. You'd think he's like playing a schoolyard game where he gets double points for skipping the ball to somebody. But hey, I'm okay with that. He made quite a few passes. I mean, what he hit like uh, at least 50% of his passes, which is better than Baker Mayfield this year in a lot of days. I'm just comparing him to Baker Mayfield because we had to suffer that for so many years that just it's like, I'm trying to like come up with a basis of what a Browns cornerback would look like. And if you remember before that, there were 20 different options to choose from. But now we have Baker Mayfield. Everything's going to be based on him. And it just seemed to me like the mobility we get with Watson, much better. The guy can run. I mean, he just seemed like he was finding little creases. Whenever he wanted to run, he was getting down there quick. He was taking hits. He kind of, to me, looks like uh, like a bulkier Justin Fields, except for Justin Fields just breaks off 50-yard runs. I think he had his third 50-yard-plus run today. Uh, but, yeah, man, Watson has the dynamic ability. Can he figure out how to throw the ball above the ground in one week? I don't know. I mean, I guess they're... They probably wanted to have this game out there to figure out what his weaknesses were, and someone's going to have to be working with them on this now because they, they've obviously seen that's his main problem. But, I mean, even when they were throwing short passes, he was trying really hard not to throw an interception, and the only interception he had was a tip pass. But my God, this defense, I mean, holy cow. Like, interception, interception, fumble, they were just doing everything right. And then the refs, on the other hand, I mean, I, I obviously we can just constantly complain about them every single day, but... I don't, I don't know how this isn't pulling off. The guy's going to go try to tackle the quarterback, and all of a sudden he's about to hit him, and he goes, oh, oh, that's this is, a, this is a violent hit in football these days. Oh, he didn't pull up. He didn't pull up, said the announcer. Well, what, what were his hands doing? Was he grabbing the guy? Was he like, eh? was he doing that to him? No. He was just like, oh, roughing, roughing. Oh, and then a little bit later, uh, we got a guy – just flying through, you know, the air, bumps into the quarterback. That's another roughing, all this unnecessary roughness. I don't understand football anymore. It might as well be soccer. You guys are watching the World Cup. There's these guys out there who look like they could be football players. They get hit in their knee. And when they fall down, they're like, oh, oh, oh. Like, what are you grabbing your face for? And then as soon as they call the penalty, they're like, okay, cool, let's play again. Or no, they don't call the penalty. And the person jumps back up and they're like, whoa, ref, what the fuck? Did you see the acting I was doing? Like, they have flops in the NBA. They actually call those. I know they have a flop rule in, in soccer. I've never seen it called. But flops everywhere. Just flopping all over the place. They're just like, play on, whatever. I don't know. It's absurd watching soccer. I have no idea how anyone can watch soccer and be like, that's a manly sport. That is not a manly sport. It's like track stars running around, just basically tripping over and then acting like somebody just ripped their arm off. 
You watch some of these other sports, these people break their legs, they're flopping backwards, they're looking like they're doing the helicopter or something. The, the appendages are going in different ways. And, you know, maybe they cry a little bit, but, but that's about it. They're not rolling around on the ground trying to, like, be the most dramatic person on earth. That's all they do in soccer. Anyway, here, you would think that these were some refs from a soccer game because, you know, bumping into somebody is not a physical penalty. But, okay, I guess by the letter of the law, maybe it is sometimes. I mean, even the announcer who was agreeing with all this stuff at some point was like, well, that was bang, bang. That was bang, bang. I mean, if even he, who is trying to justify every penalty called, cannot agree that some of these are penalties, I don't know. But anyway, this was just like, this was like Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl. Dude went the entire time, only scored one touchdown. I know I've mentioned this in my videos before, but like no offense that entire game. But Peyton Manning still won because Von, Von Miller was there, and it was just like nonstop defense the whole time. That was this game. I kept waiting for the moment where like, we would run one touchdown in or something, and, you know, that way we could consider we have some offense. But holy cow, like, the defense was just there, propping us up the whole time. I don't know that we can do that the rest of the season. This was probably a fluke. So we're going to have to work on passing. We're going to have to start trying to figure out how to throw to people. Otherwise, I think, you know, we have some possibilities here. I'm a little bit less um, confident, I guess, that we can win out the whole season. But if we just even see, like, a 50% better uh, from Deshaun Watson this next week. If he just throws a couple passes above the ground, we could have some real offense. I mean, I think once we start actually making the passes, people will forget about the fact that Deshaun can run and he'll be able to break off a lot of just quick plays left, right. I mean, they had a design run for him. It looked great except for the penalty that was involved. But I mean, it just, you know, I think he could just get it and run, get it and run, get it and run. Something we never had with Baker. Baker had bird legs. When he tried to run, it never got anywhere. But here we are. So hopefully the game plan's much better this next week. I saw they were trying to give him short passes. He wasn't able to do it because he was thrown into the ground. So, you know, maybe next week short passes, but we just keep them up. You know, baby steps. We can't ask him to just do everything in one game. But, like, I, I just want to see some big improvements next week. And then I can feel a little bit better about the rest of the year. Otherwise, I don't know. This might just be a couple learning games for Deshaun, and then we'll have to worry about something else. Stay tuned.